This is the Benemar Tesoro 413, one of six models imported by Marquis Leisure into the UK in the Benemar range. This one being the lower end of the range, just under £51,000 worth, and four berths, uh, two in a large bed drop down from the ceiling here and two in bunk beds at the rear. The drop down bed comes down really easily in one simple key turn. One of the interesting things about the Benemar is that it has this L-shaped kitchen area. So this is quite a, a continental style design. Two gas hobs with one ceramic burner over here and a gas combination oven and grill. Uh, the sink area here which actually you get a bit of uh, preparation space over here or, or for drying once you've washed up. Uh, the uh, extract fan over my shoulder here and right behind me is the microwave which is offset from the hob which is something we like. Um, home to one of the, uh, the 230 volt sockets with a 12 volt socket next to it and a nice slab lighting effect which we really like. There's a couple of instances of this in the motorhome and we think that's a really nice feature. One of the things I really like about the Benimar's kitchen area is this really nice spacious cupboard uh, in this sort of style of a pantry cupboard. So as you can see we've put some fruit and some cereals in here but you can imagine almost anything being able to uh, be stored in this. And also of course the very sizeable fridge freezer. At the back of the Tesoro are two bunks, perfect for the children of course, uh, but the lower bunk can also be transformed into more of a storage area if you want because un directly underneath there is the uh, garage area. This is the exterior locker here and as you can see it gives way to a little bit of storage space you have underneath the second bunk but indeed that can be moved out of the way if you want to create a larger area there for more storage. So the Benimar Tesoro 413 has been a great unit to use here on Keswick Camping and Caravanning Club site for the last couple of days. It's had many admiring glances while we've been here, obviously it looks pretty good at, here on the campsite. There's a few things that we like about the motorhome and a few things that we don't like about the motorhome. There's obviously only a couple of uh, 230 volt plug sockets inside which can be quite limiting. Um, however, there's lots and lots of good storage space. There's some nooks and crannies for, for squirreling stuff away. In terms of day-to-day -day use, we think it's a great motorhome for families with two young children. Kids can use the bunk beds at the back while the drop-down bed creates a great deal of space at the front end for use during the daytime.